Welcome back to yet another wonderful episode of a Latin or Greatness show. On today's episode, I will be talking about an interesting topic, which is the disease to please. You do not want to miss out on this. So I therefore implore you to stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Are you someone who is eager to please? I mean, are you someone who can't help but please people? Then this video is definitely for you. In a few minutes, I will be telling you about the consequences of your actions and ways by which you can overcome them. Well, the disease to please basically means depending on the acceptance and validation of others. It's when you actively try to satisfy other people's needs above your own. It's also when you prioritize the needs of others at your own expense, especially when you say yes when you need to say no. Learning to say no graciously is one of the most important skills a person can possess. Oprah Winfrey once said that one of the most successful things she has ever achieved is, be, is the ability to say no when needed. Therefore, excessive people pleasing has the potential for numerous negative consequences, which are 1. You would experience fear of rejection and disappointing others. You will have a low self-esteem leading to difficulty in making independent decisions and difficulty settling healthy boundaries in your relationship. 3. If you are a people pleaser, your efforts to take care of others would prevent you from being able to take care of your own needs, which is very harmful to your well-being. 4. Over time, you will become silently angry and resentful at others when you feel taken advantage of or unappreciated. And this would lead to passive aggression, resulting in distancing, disconnection and destruction of relationships. It reduces the ability to enjoy other people and activities that are core in your life. It also causes stress and depression. Hmm. Some solutions that I would love to give to you are 1. Whenever someone asks you for a favor, it's perfectly okay to say that you will need to think about it first. This would give you the opportunity to consider if you can commit to helping them or not. 2. You have to realize that you have a choice whether to say yes or to say no. 3. Learn to set your priorities right. You can't help or satisfy everyone. It is impossible. 4. Start small and take baby steps. However, you should be of help to people when needed. It's good to be good, it's good to be nice, and it's very good to be kind. If you won't be able to commit to helping someone for a period of time, then there should be a good reason for it. Honestly, I used to be one of those people who had the disease to please. I said yes many times when I knew I wanted to say no. And I faced some of the consequences that I listed earlier. I used to have a lot of mood swings. In fact, I had them every day. I could not express myself to others. But later on, I looked at my life and I told myself that I can't keep going on like this. I told myself that I'm enough, 
and I'm the master of my faith, and I'm the captain of my soul. I cannot live to please people anymore, and I need you to understand that as well. You know why? Because you won't grow this way, and you won't get to know yourself, you won't get to know who you truly are. Today, I want to tell you that you can't please everyone. Only live to please God, yourself, and nobody else. And remember, be the best version of who God has made you to be. I hope you learned a lot today. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for sticking with me. Until next time, hit us up on our social media handle, on IG at the Latin or Greatness Show, or send me a message at Latin or Greatness 3 at gmail.com. Let us know what you think about today's episode. Have a great day. I love you. Bye.